The heat has been pretty unbearable for people this week. Imagine how animals are handling it. As News 13's Jared Sellers tells us, the staff at Zoo World has been keeping a close eye on some of their animals that are particularly susceptible. More than 200 animals from across the world call Zoo World their home. Temperatures this past week have been up into the mid-90s with heat indexes reaching more than 100 degrees. Zoo World officials say most of their animals can withstand the heat. Well, the great thing is most of our animals naturally would be in this type of weather. We have a lot of animals that are from Africa, from Australia, um, Asia, so lots of warm climates. So they're used to the warm temperatures. But not all. Zookeeper Kylie Appleton says some of the birds and the older animals, like the Siamang, need a little extra attention. The only animals that would be like a main concern are any of our older animals that are getting up to like their older ages. You know, it's harder for them to handle the heat and stuff. Staff members are trained to spot possible problems. All of our keepers are trained to be able to watch for any signs of like heat exhaustion or anything like that. We make sure that all the animals have shade, shade cloths, all that good stuff. Once they spot a problem, they take preventative steps. So they're prepared to watch all their animals and, and to assist whether it be adding an extra sprinkler or adding some extra ice blocks to their enclosure. Um, so our zookeepers are number one in making sure our animals are comfortable. In Bay County, Jared Sellers, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Tomorrow night on News 13, we'll take a look at some of the more tame animals here in the Panhandle. You'll get some tips from a local veterinarian about how to protect your pets and help them beat the heat.